here let us see a question from the chapter principle of mathematical induction here question is prove the following by the principle of induction for all n belonging to capital n set of natural numbers here statement is 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus up to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 here total number of terms is n and right hand side is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 upon 4. So, this is the mathematical statement which is given here and we have to establish that LHS and RHS are equal. Okay? So, <clears throat> let us see the solution here. Here mathematical statement is denoted by this notation Pn. So, your given mathematical statement is 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus up to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. This is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 divided by 4. Suppose this is relation number 1. Okay? And you know how we can use the principle of mathematical uh, induction for solving such type of problem? We follow three steps. Step number 1, we first of all prove that statement Pn is true for n is equal to 1. Means we have to prove that P1 is true. That will be first step. Second step, we assume that PR is true. Means we assume that PN is true when you put N is equal to R. And third and last step is that we have to prove that PR plus 1 is true. Means whenever you put N is equal to R plus 1 in the given statement PN, we have to establish, we have to show that LHS and RHS are equal. So, after this three step, we will be able to conclude that by the principle of mathematical statement, uh, principle of mathematical induction, this given statement is true for all n. This will be generalized. Okay? So, let us start first step to first step to show that to show that P1 is true. Okay? To show that P1 is true. That is putting n is equal to 1 in this relation number 1. So, when we will put n is equal to 1 means total number of terms will be 1 in left hand side. So, therefore, we are getting here 1 into 2 into 3 is equal to right hand side is n is equal to 1. So, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 divided by 4. 4 will be cancelled out or we are getting here 1 into 2 into 3 is 6 and in right hand side also we are getting 6. That is here LHS is equal to RHS. It means that is P1 is true. P1 is existing. So, this is the first step where we have to show that P1 is true. P1 is existing that we shown here. Okay? Second step now we assume what we have to assume here? Here we have to assume that P R is true. Means we have to put n is equal to R in this given statement then we will get P R and we will assume that P R is true. So, we assume that P R is true. That is putting n is equal to r. Okay? So, we are getting here 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus r putting n is equal to r here. So, r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 and this is equal to in right hand side we are getting r into r plus 1 
into r plus 2 into r plus 3 divided by 4. Suppose this is relation number 2. Okay. Now third and last step, we will try to establish that p r plus 1 is true. Means we have to put n is equal to r plus 1 and we will show LHS is equal to RHS. Then we will be able to conclude by the principle of mathematical induction that this given statement is true for all n. Okay. So, now we have to show that we have to show that P R plus 1 is true. So, putting putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. We will get here 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus we have to put here n is equal to r plus 1 and the second last term will be we will get it by putting r. So, that will be second last term and the last term we will get by putting n is equal to r plus 1. So, second last term is here r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 and the last term we will get by putting r is equal to r plus 1. So, this will be r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 and this is equal to how much? Right hand side uh, here we will put uh, n is equal to r plus 1. So, this is right hand side is r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 into r plus 4 divided by 4. Correct? So, now let us start with left hand side and we will show that LHS is equal to RHS. So, you see up to this much part, up to this much part, we can write this value from relation number 2 because we have assumed P R is true. So, this much is equal to this one. So, up to this part we can use this value. So, therefore, by relation number 2 LHS will be equal to up to this part we are putting this value. So, R into R plus 1 into R plus 2 into R plus 3 divided by 4 and the last term is here r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 correct and this is equal to from these two terms we can take common r plus 1 r plus 2 r plus 3 so r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 is common and here r by 4 plus 1 here r by 4 plus 1. So, after taking this LCM 4 and simplifying it, we are getting here r plus 1 into r plus 2 into r plus 3 into r plus 4. From here, we are getting r plus 4 and denominator is 4 divided by 4. So, you see here this is the right hand side this is equal to right hand side. So, we have started from left hand side and we have come to this right hand side which we had to establish which we had to prove that this LHS is equal to this RHS which we are getting here. We have started from LHS and we are getting this RHS correct. So, that is the last step. So, now we can write here therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of mathematical mathematical induction, this statement is true. Means P n is true for all n. So here result has been, this relation has been, this statement has been proved. Okay. So, very simple step. First step, we have to show that P1 is true. Second step, we assume that PR is true. 
and third and last step we have to show that p r plus 1 is existing that is true so these are only three step in all the questions from this topic and uh, we'll get the result we can establish the given statement very easily so that's all uh, about this question i hope you have got the solution very uh, easily and comfortably you have understood it well so thank you very much and uh, we will see some more problems in the videos to come thank you very much